Hello and what's up everyone, this is the first project video on our 7 days of computer vision project in Python where we will be making some cool computer vision project to make our portfolio strong. I am Bifa from DataQL and in this video I am going to talk about real-time background changing. You might have changed your background on the video calls while using Zoom-like platforms. And I am not going to do exactly like the same but I will be using the concept from image processing and from the help of the open source tools to make something like that. In the end of this video, we will be learning about how to write a simple background changer on live camera. First thing we will start with is the import. And I am going to import NumPy, OpenCV and Matplotlib. If you have been following our videos, especially mine, then you have seen that I always start with making a simple show function. Which will take image and the figure size, then makes a figure and shows the image. Now let's check this show function by passing it 100 by 100 of black image. The core concept is that we will start by picking an image where the object is in and we will also take another image which will be the same image except there will be no object which means that we will be treating image without an object as, an, as a background image. So let's see a simple background subtraction example. Let's start by defining a black background image BG of say 480 by 640 and then changing its red channel value to 100. Then changing the data type to unsigned integer 8 bits which means that our pixel values will be from range 0 to 255. Let's see the busy image. It looks red. Next we will make an object in background. Simply make a copy of background image and make a circle in image. The circle will be an object here residing in the background. Let's give circle center, a radius, color and the thickness of line. Minus 1 means, the, means that we will be filling the circle entirely. Let's see the circle. And here it is. The object or circle is near middle and now we will be subtracting the background image from the image then we will get the mask. Mask is basically an array that we will apply on images. Now define a variable scene and read an image from local drive then resize that scene to save same as background image. Since OpenCV reads image in BGR format, so let's convert it to RGB format. Let's see how is our scene. So it seems I have made an error. I should have used shape instead of size. Here is a scene that we are going to use as a background image. Now as the term background subtraction, we subtract the background image from image. So define a variable mask and then do subtraction. Let's see the mask. Now make a copy of scene and apply a mask on it. Masking is a boolean operation and here we are replacing the values of result in those pixel positions where pixel is not zero on mask. The replacing value will be taken from the original image with object. Let's see the result. Initially there was nothing like circle on our scene image but now here it is. The goal of this example is not to add circle on a scene image but to explain how background subtraction works. Let me use the RGB scene instead of scene only. Here is the result. Now we will be using this concept on the live camera feed and to do this first we have to prepare a background image. So let's define a method which will take running average of frame. The average image can be treated like a background image so the function name will be running underscore average. And it will take background image which is busy underscore image then image and a weight. If background image is known which means this is the first time calling this function then we will make busy image as the copy of image but in the float data type. Else we will be accumulating the images with given weight and place that into variable busy underscore image and finally return it. Now we need to start our camera first but first define a video source to use. Here zero means that the default camera will be used for as the video source. Now define how many frames to take running average and then variable to count of frame which is frame count and then await for running average, then busy to known. Also define a boolean tech busy, then define a scene image uh, and resize it to 480 by 640. Now we will loop until the error or break happens and let's read a frame from the source. And then flip the frame to make it look like the frame uh, taken from the selfie camera. Now clone the frame and convert it into the grayscale image and place it into the gray variable. 
let's add some median blur to remove salt and paper noise and i want to remove 50 percent of the salt and paper noise let's define a key listening event and we will be waiting for escape key and listen in every one milliseconds then if the escape key has pressed then break the loop if the boolean tick underscore bg is true and frame count is still small then notify number then add our text on frame to inform us that taking uh, background and hold still let's put that text on clone by giving text in string format uh, and then position font type then font size font color and thickness then pass bg gray and away to running average and take a new background if the condition is false then we will not take background image and then change the frame count to zero then take any absolute difference of background image and gray which is of course background subtraction uh, after finding the difference we need to do something like thresholding to make pixel values uh, more recognizable so for, in this case uh, make all values to zero which are below 30 then make a copy of clone and then apply the mask on it once the mask has been applied then show the result now increase the frame count at the last and then uh, also show the clone then in the end we need to release the camera and destroy all the windows it seems that i have used extra o in the end of i am so let me delete it let's run the code i got an error and it is on median blur i should have used 5 for 50 percent instead of 50. let me explain the code once more and it might seem a little bit different code now but uh, only difference is that i have added comments and nothing more in order to do a background subtraction first thing i have to do is prepare a background image so in this case we do not have any background image so i will be uh, taking average of 200 frames from the beginning as a background image so in order to uh, make a background image first thing i have to do is uh, hide away from the camera and then once the background has been taken then i can appear in front of the camera and see how the code works so let me add first and then run the code so the uh, background has been taken and then as you can see there uh, also the background has been changed so uh, there are some errors like uh, the shadow is not thresholded properly and my skin color is also treating as the background image well that was just a simple code along and now on instead of doing a code along i'm going to explain the code that i have written because most of the things will be repeated and you can always check the description section for blog or github repository here i have started with imports and then the background subtraction example code then here is a function to do running average and then this is the scene we are going to use in this video well we have seen the output of the above code and there are some problems with it like we have to move away from the camera while the average is ticking and also the camera position should be stationary I thought of editing it a little bit more so that we would not have to move away from the camera. To do that, we have to stay on plain background and then take average from the predefined position. The predefined position will be region of interest or ROI. In this code, uh, here it is. I have started with defining video source and frame count variable and other stops. But uh, new thing is, I just use different frame size without any reason. Then defined new four constant for ROI. They are left, top, right, bottom. This portion will lie on the right side of the half and above the middle range. Then again, we recite the ROI to frame size because we must work on same sized array. All other things are same, but only different thing is the rectangle part, which is just drawn to show the ROI region in the frame. It will take values up to opposite corner and color in BGR format. I have given red and then the line thickness will be one now again just like the previous time uh, make take bg to false and frame count to zero then just like previous take absolute difference and then threshold it and the threshold value is different than the previous now let's see its result in order to run this code i don't have to go away from the camera but i have to make sure that uh, there will be nothing a dynamic object like moving object in the roi area so let me run this first so as you can see that there is a ROI a rectangle and and here it is it is completed and as you can see that the background has been changed and it uh, shows a little bit uh, error in the shadow area uh, because as you can see that 
um, we were taking average of this region only this region and then the subtraction between this region and this region causes some thresholding, thresholding problems so in the next uh, uh, example i will be trying different approach let's see how this turns out to be well that was all based on background subtraction concept and now on this experiment we are going to use thresholding concept but before going to code part i have to say that your result can be different than mine because of the light condition of the room and the background of ours so to make this code working uh, we always have to tune around all the values used in this example so the difference is after this line where i have defined a kernel of 7 by 7 numpy array with values 1 and then applied what's to thresholding to get binary image in binary image there will be only two values 0 or 255 obviously then do the dilation and erosion dilation enlarges the bright part of the image which means the white part of the image and erosion is just opposite of dilation makes bright area a little bit thinner now make the copy and apply the masking and show the threshold image now i am applying candy edge detection to find the edges of portion on a frame and then applied some dilation and showed the edges image then i have searched for the potential contours of the edge now define an empty image if the contours has been found then take the maximum contour and of course the maximum contour will be the portion residing in that background so it is very very important to stay in the plain background and then fill it fill the counter with white pixels and again showing the mask finally i'm applying the mask on frames copy image and then showing the result now let me run this code now let me first run this thresholding concept code and it is it will work fine uh, as you can see that it is thresholding better than the other ideas better than the uh, methods i have discussed earlier and another advantage is that i don't have to wait until the background has been taken but uh, certainly there are some errors uh, like uh, it is not able to threshold the shadows properly and another main error is that whenever i put my hands up the canny result is not working fine and then the but the threshold result is working fine so i have done erosion and dilation and while doing that we will be removing some small but very uh, valuable information from of the pixel from the image that might be the cause now let's get into the third experiment uh, in the second experiment where i talk about thresholding concept but the package open cv provides some methods to do background subtraction and one of the popular is moz2 i have already written the code and here it is now we need to make a method of create background subtractor moz2 then uh, as usual read the frame flip the frame and finally pass the frame to apply method of moz to get mask the 0 0.5 here is the learning rate then we applied some dilation to the mask and finally applied the image masking uh, i am sorry to say this but i am not going to show the result of this code uh, because uh, this method of background subtraction is not good in our case because this works best when there is moving object with stationary camera but our case is not always same now going into the final part uh, i'm going to use google's open source tool media pipe and especially i'm going to use a selfish segmentation method but uh, first install it using pip or your own package manager uh, i have also attached the official link on the description we will be starting with the uh, imports and taking the selfish segmentation object and placing it into variable mp underscore selfie underscore segmentation most of the codes in this section are taken from the official tutorial then define the video source next uh, read a scene image and resize it then take a selfie segmentation model let's make our background image uh, that is busy underscore image is seen then if the camera is open we will read the frame and resize it then flip it and let me correct some logical problem that is uh, check rt after reading frame next we need to convert the flipped image into rgb format because media pipe expects image to uh, be in the rgb format finally we will be processing the rgb image then we will take the segmentation mask from the result and then make an array of mask finally we got a condition by applying some thresholding after getting the condition apply it using numpy's aware method 
which basically is image masking but using where method. Finally, let's run the code. So this is the result and the result shows that the background has been completely changed. And this is all for this project. We started from basic concept to using the awesome tool for doing real time background changing on our live camera. Thank you for watching till the end and if you found any error or difficulties then please let us know in the comment section. In the next day we will make our project where we will be simulating our computer mouse by moving fingers in front of the camera. Please keep in touch and we will meet tomorrow.